Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this episode, we shall talk about the pros and cons of sponge filters. If you are new to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's begin. There are pros and cons to using sponge filters. Let's first look at the pros. Sponge filters can be used as either primary filter or secondary filter in an aquarium. They usually serve as primary filters in shrimp tank and fries tank. Small shrimps and fries can be sucked into more powerful filters like the canisters filters or hang on back filters. Sponge filters are also used in hospital tanks and quarantine tanks as it would be better to put these livestocks in tanks with slow moving water. Sponge filter can also serve as a secondary filter that complements existing canister filter or hang on back filter. The secondary filter acts as a redundant filter when the canister filter or hang on back filter is due for maintenance. Overfiltration is always better than underfiltration. The other pros of sponge filter is it is very easy to set up. To set up the sponge filter, we will need an air pump, air lines, and a sponge filter. Sponge filter has high surface area to volume ratio that can house a lot of beneficial bacteria, nitrosomonas and nitrobacter bacteria. Beneficial bacteria offers good biological filtration that can convert ammonia into nitrites and nitrates. I have made a video on why biological filtration is so important in an aquarium. Do subscribe to my channel and check out this video. Sponge filter is also very easy to maintain. This is another reason why sponge filters are so widely used in aquariums. There are of course cons to using a sponge filter. Sponge filter is unsightly in an aquarium. The solution to this is to place the filter behind plants or aquarium decorations. Sponge filter has no chemical filtration and it takes up precious space in the aquarium. The following are some useful tips. If the sponge filter is a primary filter in the aquarium, do have more than one sponge filters in the aquarium. Clean only one sponge filter at a time. This ensures the beneficial bacteria colonies are sustainable. Although there are pros and cons of using sponge filters. Many of us are still using sponge filters as their benefits outweigh the cons. I hope you have learned something from today's episode. If you like my channel's content, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell as I will be uploading videos frequently. Thank you and see you in the next episode.